going to get some stuff done around the house today. Alex just took Meredith and someone to the airport. We've had a few guests stay over our house and there's nothing like having guests over to realize like how messy those little nooks and cranny bits are in your house because when they would like ask for a band-aid, I'd be like, oh yeah, I got it. Let me, give me a minute. Oh no, we'll get it. Oh no, but I don't want you to get it because then you'll see how big of a mess I am. <laughs> so short story long, I'm going to clean out one of our linen closets. It holds a lot of stuff. Stuff. I initially wanted to go to Ikea to get like really fancy nice bins, but you know what? I'm just gonna use what I have and we'll roll with it. We're also having a couple people over for dinner tonight, um, like outside, and I don't know what to make them, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, which is always so fun, trying to figure out what to eat for dinner every single night, and then add on top of that the pressure of making something delicious because you're having other people eat your food. And I have a Thrive Market order to share with you because this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, so huge thanks to Thrive Market, huge thanks to you. I love all the support. So Thrive Market is an online-based market that is on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. It's so simple and convenient. I love adding things to my cart on the Thrive Market app as I find that I need them. Like I'll be in my kitchen, oh crap, I need this, and I'll pull up my app. And not only am I keeping track of the things that I need, but I'm also saving money at the same time. Members on average save $32 per order, and it saves me time because everything on the website is so nicely organized. They have everything from organic and essential groceries, clean beauty, safe supplements, non-toxic home products, plus ethical meat, sustainable seafood, snacks, pantry staples, and so much more. I'm not kidding. They have kids' toys sometimes I love buying. Okay, it also groups all the grocery foods you may be looking for together by lifestyle preference, whether you're living that vegan life or you're a vegetarian or paleo, gluten-free. If you don't like GMOs, Thrive Market has you covered. You don't have to see any of the crap that you don't want to just by, you know, making a few clicks on the website or on the app. Another money saving tip is if your order is over $49, it ships for free from their zero waste warehouse. Yes, carbon neutral shipping. It's good food for you, it's good for the environment, and it's good for your pocketbook. I can't believe I just said pocketbook. Uh, they have multiple membership options for you to choose from to find out what's right for you. For me, I love Thrive Market and order from them like, you know, once a month. So the 12 month membership is the best deal for $5 a month, but they also offer a monthly membership for $9.95 a month. Uh, and if you're still on the fence after listening to me talk about Thrive Market for, I don't know how many months it's been now, forever, you can try it risk-free for 30 days and cancel if it's not for you. And right now, for you, Thrive Market is offering 25% off and a free gift. You can check my link below, thrivemarket.com slash the what. So, let's head to my awesome bathroom and I will show you my linen closet. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. Welcome to my bath. Probably the size of your guest bathroom. <laughs> we took the door off of this linen closet because we just felt like, I don't know, claustrophobic. Like, ugh. The walls were caving in, so I will give you uh, a little before shot right here. Yeah. I mean, okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Like, superficially, it does, I'm like, it's okay. But at the same time, like, it's not okay. Everything is overflowing. Everything is kind of just, like, a, for example, I have probably 75 votive candles right there. Do I use any of them? No. One thing I will say, I have almost all white towels in here, uh, and then all of the beach towels. Never use that blanket, but for some reason I can't get rid of it. Oh, we have curtains up there? Oh, I wonder why. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna take everything out and semi-organize it. Like, what is this? Oh, cool, a bag full of bags. It's my favorite thing. I mean, like, I don't even know where to put this stuff. This bathroom is so small, but I feel like most people have bathrooms this size. I like the whole normalized, normal looking bathrooms. Sometimes I watch some YouTube videos and their freaking bathroom is the size of my house. I don't know, man, not my bathroom. Like what is in here? A snorkel? It's a snorkel. Ah, oh, boy, this is gonna be a lot of work. Okay, hold on, let me explain to you the real reason I need to do this. The other day, I, just ignore all of my backdrop right here, okay? It's very aesthetic. 
This was on purpose. The other day, someone needed some Band-Aids, so I was like, okay, let me go find some. And then I couldn't find any, so then I bought this whole box, and I was like, surely we have some Band-Aids amongst all of this chaos, and I just can't find it. So I vowed in that moment to declutter and organize and get my life together. That might be a stretch, but you know, baby steps is all I'll say, baby steps. Also, I think my hair is falling out. You're not a mess, I'm a mess. I worked real hard on my hair too. I even bought new bobby pins for my hair. Let me show you. Oh, great. <laughs> that is a normal size bobby pin. These are the bobby pins that I bought for long hair. They suck. I do not recommend. All right, in all honesty, I'm gonna have to take all of this stuff out somewhere else. Oh crap, let me get a picture from the Instagrams. I always forget to take a before picture. I'm just gonna put everything just on the floor here. I was gonna put it on my bed, but um... There's a bunch of laundry on my bed, so I guess we're gonna have to tackle that too. <laughs> you know what, I may have underestimated how long this is gonna take me. Oh, great. So this is the chaos that we're working with. Oh, so initially I thought, oh yeah, I'm just gonna toss these candles straight into the garbage. And a part of me was sad because guys, Yankee Candle votives are like, I, I wanna say like two bucks a candle. It's insane, oh, crisp morning air. I love the names. Ooh, mistletoe, classic. Oh my gosh, why are these in here? I must have been trying to like clean my kitchen one day and just shoved things into my linen closet because I thought, oh, no one's gonna look here. I have a whole bunch of animal magnets that I used to have in the kitchen because it's a good little game that the kids can play with and put the animals on the fridge, you know? I also have a Beatles magnet. I also have a medal for being awesome. Okay, well, it's already been 20 minutes and I'm realizing I'm in over my head. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at something and think, what can I get rid of that is of substantial space? How about this? This is like my postpartum bag. Let's see what kind of goodies I have in here. Cool, really cool. Awesome, extra awesome. I have this After Ease tincture, but I don't know if it expires. I need to buy a magnifying glass. I can't read anything. It's gluten free. Oh, expiration, April of next year. Great, Thermoblast. The stench of postpartum. Also, I do find myself using this a lot uh, when the kids get scrapes and cuts and stuff. Relieves pain and itching for scrapes, cuts, insect bites, blisters, sunburn, and minor burn. I had no idea it was useful for all of those things. I probably have like seven cans of that. At least I thought I had seven cans of it. Turns out I have two. <laughs> I could probably get rid of my peri bottle. Oh great, I have two peri bottles. Oh, Tums, that's another one. So many people ask, hey, do you have any Tums? I'm like, I don't really know. <laughs> you know, I don't really like these green bins, but you know what I don't like more than the green bins? Wasting money on new bins that no one cares about. <laughs> I feel like as long as it's organized, it doesn't matter what it looks like, you know? We have a blood pressure machine because you never know when you're gonna need to check your blood pressure. I wonder what mine is right now. Hold on, I have to stay still. Oh, uncross my legs. Here's my reading. Not bad considering I'm like running around talking. 120 over 60. I feel like it's normally much lower. Maybe I'll try it again. There it is there, a little bit lower. 110 over 57. I know that's what you really came here for today. I know that's what you stay up wondering. What is Kim's blood pressure? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say these are garbage, but before I toss them, I will share how awesome these are. These are like Fever Ease wipes. It's just a wipe that has some essential oil on it, and these are like boo-boo wipes. They're for three months and up, and they each have a different essential oil on them. So the Fever Ease wipes is like a nice cooling sensation, and then the ouchies, I don't know, helps it feel better. But I've had those for so long, there's only a couple left in each of them, and they're just really dried out. Our GoPro strap, we definitely need this in here. Nose hair trimmer. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, this thermometer is vastly inaccurate. 
but for some reason I have yet to replace it okay I am going to organize the best I can speed you through it unless I find something cool and interesting to share with you why you might be wondering Kim why do you have a hundred pairs of socks for the trampoline park it's a story for another day As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. So it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Fun thing is, I found an EpiPen, which I was really excited about because I didn't know if we had one. Another main reason for like cleaning all of this out because we recently found out the hard way that Avelina is allergic to some kind of nut. We think it's walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. We have her scheduled for an allergy test uh, and we'll let you know when we find out the news, but it's good to know that if something were to happen, we do have an EpiPen, which I recently found out are extremely expensive. Bad news is that I found out these are all the band-aids that we have. Which I guess is good news better than having none. I feel like I should just dump them all out in here, right? I'm gonna do it. I feel like if I'm looking for a band-aid, I'm not gonna go through all these boxes. A band-aid is a band-aid. I just hope my kids don't get a hold of this because they use band-aids as expensive stickers. Okay, I feel like I can get rid of all of this. Great. Well, I've been looking around my whole house for a specific basket that I know I have. It's like smaller, it would work in my space. I can't find it. So I'm just gonna fill up this basket with toilet paper while I enjoy some Pringles that I found in the garage. Okay, here's the after, and honestly, it took me way too long to configure what the heck everything is going on in here. So up there, I have all of Avelina's, like, breathing stuff, her nebulizer. She hasn't needed that in years, thank goodness. We have towels that I need to fold, and I'll put them there. All of our beach towels and pool towels so the kids can easily grab them before they were on, you know, top shelves. And they could never really reach for them. They always needed our help, so it's nice for them to be independent. And then down there, I have, like, pool stuff, sunscreen nail polish and then all of our like medicines and first aid stuff I did have a heating pad up there which I had no idea was up there I mean obviously I had some sort of idea but we never really use it I should probably label things correctly or label them just in general but I don't so now I don't know where to put it so I can remember it's there also I found another thermometer which is nice it is much more accurate so I'm gonna, there's actually a couple in there. So now we have three thermometers, uh, two that work. Should probably get rid of it. But I also don't know where to put this. So for now, it's just hanging out right there. Oh man, I forgot about these. It's my cat mug full of medicine droppers. So I guess they'll hang out by the thermometers for now. Actually, I put them down there. It makes a little more sense. Okay, now that that's done, let's check out some dinner ideas. I guess we're going around. Pinterest is my go-to spot. And I remember watching, I think, a YouTube video. Maybe it was a what's for dinner. I have no idea. I remember seeing these drumsticks that were like garlic and something. Maybe I just saw a picture somewhere. Oh, I probably took a screenshot. All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. That's it. I probably took a screenshot. Yep. Does anyone else take screenshots of so many things? Oh, is that it? <gasps> that was fast. I didn't think I would find it that fast. I take screenshots of like everything and then it's like lost in my phone, never to be seen or heard of ever again. Okay, so this is, 
Ooh, an air fryer recipe. Although I will say, I find that my air fryer, it's not big enough for making dinner, you know, for a family of six anyway. If I'm making a snack or, I don't know, it's okay, but I would rather use my oven. And, okay, all of you air fryer people that hype it up, do you realize an air fryer is the same as a toaster oven? Is this not something people talk about? <laughs> okay, garlic parmesan chicken wings. I guess that sounds okay for dinner. It seems simple. Let me let me look up the recipe. Ooh, you guys. We just got notified of a new house. So I'm going to see if we can schedule a showing. The house looks really nice and promising. So fingers crossed that uh, it doesn't sell before we can even get a showing. It just went on the market today. An air fryer recipe. Like, do I need to put it in the air fryer? Is this air fryer exclusive? recipe says air fryer recipe well good thing i don't really follow recipes right it looks amazing look at that look at that is your mouth salivating if it's not i think you need to visit a doctor get your glands checked out do you see what i mean here like you have to cook it for 20 minutes it's one two three pieces is that gonna feed a family or is that single portion it's single portion for me you know what i'm thinking now Maybe it is a little bit different than an oven or toaster oven because if I put these in the oven, it's gonna be like, you know, all the chicken juice on the bottom. So maybe it does get extra crispy in the air fryer. Okay, here's what we need. Chicken wings, check, maybe. Parmesan cheese, check. Garlic, check. Fresh parsley, ah! Although I do have Italian seasoning, check. Salt, pepper, that's it? Ah, interesting. Definitely interesting. You know what else I'm thinking? Who wants to sit there and like gnaw on chicken bones with guests? Proper meal to eat in front of people, you know what I mean? It's more of a, I'm alone sitting on my couch, pigging out on chicken wings. All right, new recipe. I always just check out my Pinterest page and see the most recent recipes that I have pinned and go from there. Ooh, six ingredient queso dip? Appetizer? I don't know, that looks good. Should we go with like Paula Deen's amazing chicken casserole? Is it really amazing, Paula? Is it? One pot chicken and rice. I feel like pasta is always a crowd pleaser and Paula Deen has some delicious recipes. Okay, ingredients. Chicken, check. Pasta, butter, onion, garlic, flour, sour cream. Ah, oh, cheese. I think I can replace sour cream with mayonnaise or yogurt. I'm gonna have to think about this for a minute. The time has come. Are you ready to see what I got from Thrive Market? Ready or not, here it is. I got some food over here and then some cleaning products, which I've been ordering most of my cleaning products lately from Thrive Market, which is so nice because they have like more natural cleaning products, which is what I tend to buy anyway. And not only are some of them cheaper on Thrive Market, some of them I can't find in my local stores, which is really cool. Like this one, I think is just the Thrive Market brand. I love this cleaner. I have it some right now. I'm not even out of it, but I love it so much I wanted to buy more. It's an all-purpose cleaner, but the scent is Zesty Lemon. So refreshing and delicious. This Better Life brand, I have, I think, every single cleaner. This one is Sage and Citrus, and that is right on my alley. It's another all-purpose one. I got some of this hand soap. I don't know what this scent is. Safe, hardworking, non-toxic. Aunt Franny. Well, it's an Aunt Franny. I like Aunt Franny. Is it apple scent? Is that what that is? Let me sniff. It smells like apple, but maybe that's just because my eyes are telling me it's apple. Hydrating cream. This is good enough for baby's skin, and this brand is really safe and gentle for sensitive skin. It's a vegan formula. And I just wanted to try it out. I try a lot of like different creams and stuff, so there's that. I also, oh my gosh, another Aunt Franny's favorite. Actually, I've never had it before. For homes with pets. Well, I don't have pets, but I do have kids. And this is a carpet cleaner. And I know I could make my own with some essential oils and baking powder, which I've done in the past many, many times. But I figured just for ease and convenience, I wanted to try this. I love that it says it's dog, cat, kid, and earth friendly. That's all good things. I just took a sniff and it smells like spearmint. I love cleaning with spearmint. Makes everything seem, uh, you know, nice and minty and fresh. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would be able to fall in love with a toilet cleaner, but here we are at that stage of my life. I've always used the same toilet cleaner over and over again, the Method brand, but this one has won me over. You guys, I seriously look forward to cleaning my toilets. I thought I would never utter those words, but again, here we are. This, I can't smell it right now. What is the scent? 
I don't even know. I don't even know what scent it is. It's plant-based ingredients, biodegradable formula, pine fresh. There it is. Ooh, pine heavenly is what they should call this. It freshens up my entire bathroom. I love this. I should have ordered seven of them. I don't know what I was thinking. I want to stock up on this because I love it so much. And then I thought, well, I love this brand so much. Let me try the fabric softener. I never use fabric softener. I have like the wool dryer balls and that's good enough for us. But I thought, you know what? This is like eco-friendly and all that good stuff. So let me give it a goo. This is supposed to smell like morning fresh. Well, let me take a sniff. It smells like, huh, what does it smell like? What does morning fresh smell like? Kind of smells like baby soap, but in a good way. We'll see, I'll mostly use it on like our bedding and stuff like that. Okay, moving into the food, you guys know I had to get Alex's favorite, I think this is in every order, Sir Kensington's Chipotle mayonnaise. At my local grocery store, this stuff is crazy expensive, so I'm always happy to find it on Thrive Market. By the way, I will add that Thrive Market often sends out emails with sales and stuff. So I think I got like 10 or 15% extra off of this order. So crazy screaming deal. I grabbed some vanilla extract. A lot of you are mentioning that I should make my own vanilla extract, except for I don't know where to buy fresh vanillas. This is the Thrive Market brand. And I thought, wow, that's probably delicious. And then the showdown of the barbecue sauce. I needed barbecue sauce, didn't know which one to buy, so I just bought both Annie's, sweet and spicy, and then classic. This Primal Kitchen has like really great clean ingredients, so I thought I would try it out. I like everything else that I bought from them, so we're gonna try out those barbecue sauces. And then I found this, Banza plant-based mac with chickpea pasta. So Banza has chickpea pasta, which I've had plenty of times before, love it. So I thought, no, let me try out this um, vegan cheese pasta cheese what do they call that pasta and cheese whatever you know i don't and then the laura bars for the kids always a staple so i grabbed a couple boxes of those and last time i got these i love the annie's brand for snacks for kids so you guys can see that i bought a lot from the annie's brand these gummies are fantastic seriously the best gummies i've ever had if you've never had the gummies before i know they're a little bit pricier than other brands of gummies but try it out take the challenge Spend the extra couple of dollars and you might like these more. I like them hands down 1000% more. They actually used to sell some that had like, you know, fruit and vegetable servings in them, but I haven't seen those lately. Okay, and then these bunnies, these are like a treat for sure. And then this organic cheddar snack mix is always a family favorite. And then I needed some jasmine rice, so I ordered some rice. I needed some oats, finally. Guys, I can make energy balls. Oh my gosh. Woo! I dropped my phone, but I caught it. Ayy. I got so excited to tell you that we can finally make energy balls. Almost forgot. We're gonna whip some up right now. That's what we can do after this. And then chocolate covered hazelnuts. Um, these are for me. <laughs> and they're paleo friendly. Does that make them healthy? I'm gonna rip into them right now. Gotta have a little taste test, right? Heaven. Heaven. This is heaven. Definitely gonna hide these from the kids. Okay, now I'm excited. I mean, how long have we been waiting to make energy balls, you guys? Pretty much, I, I, it's been like a month since I ran out of oats, so I'm so happy to have these. I'm just gonna throw some of these uh, things in my pantry. What's this? Okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Jars of food. Hello there. Are you ready to whip up some energy balls? You need some oats. Oh, now I hope I have everything else. Mini chocolate chips, shredded coconut, flaxseed, ch 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 chia, peanut butter, and agave or honey. And that's it. This is like super simple, very forgiving recipe. You don't even have to measure if you don't want to. You don't even have to roll them into balls if you don't want to, which most of the time I don't, unless I'm putting them like in my kid's lunchbox. So I always double the recipe. What else can I say about them? They're like a better for you snack. They have a lot of flaxseed, which is rich in omega-3s. They have, you know, rolled oats, which is full of fiber, keeps you full. Are they full of fiber? Fiber and protein. Two things that keep you full longer. Guess what peanut butter has? Protein. And then for fun to get the kids to eat them. Of course, we're gonna add a little bit of chocolate chips. The recipe that I have, that I've used forever, calls for like an obscene amount of mini chocolate chips. I use like an eighth of what they ask for. So of course, I will share the recipe with you. 
if I can find it. Uh, but I will also share with you my modifications. I shared this recipe on my Instagram not too long ago. Well, I mean, it's been like at least a month, maybe two months now. Oh, you know what? I can fill up my jar. This is where my rolled oats should be going. I do kind of like the bags that the oatmeal comes in. And of course, hindsight is 2020, and I probably should have bought way more oatmeal than that. You know what? I can pull out my app and add it to my cart. This is real life. Rolled oats, right now it is 37% off. Add to cart. Oh, speaking of oatmeal, last time I ordered from Thrive Market, I got this for free. Sometimes they just give you free stuff. They offer coupons and discounts and free stuff all the time. So um, they gave me this apple and coconut overnight oats. You guys, it is amazing. And you know me, I didn't even follow the directions. I'm reading them right now. It says instructions for newbies. I guess I'm not a newbie, I don't care. I did not put them in overnight. I just put them in the microwave and they were so good. The flavor was insane. So of course I'm doubling this. So I will give you the measurements for one batch of the energy balls. So one cup of oatmeal, two thirds cup of coconut flakes. I use unsweetened, but you can use whatever coconut flakes that you have. One tablespoon of chia seeds but I'm, I've more than doubled this one. Chia seeds are great. Half a cup of flaxseed meal. We're doing really precise measurements here, okay? Get out your kitchen scale. Half a cup of peanut butter. Man, this brings back memories. I used to make this all the time in my lunch videos, like my kid lunch videos. And I have people tell me all the time that they make this and their family loves it. Kids love it. You can eat it as like a healthy dessert too. I can't believe we're finally making these. I thought the day would never come. One third cup agave nectar or honey. Oh, by the way, I pulled out some chicken for dinner tonight. So I don't, I still don't know what we're having, but we're definitely going to have chicken. And then the recipe calls for vanilla extract, which I could add because I just got some. Let's crack into this guy. I never add vanilla extract to this. Just because I don't think it's necessary, but I'm just gonna smell it for fun. Smells like vanilla extract. <laughs> okay, cool. Now we're gonna flip it up. Ooh, I think it's actually time to switch up my recipe book back there. Do you see it? All right, we'll whip this and we'll change that book while it's whipping. All this Easter stuff. Okay, what's next? After Easter, oh my gosh. Fourth of July? That's the best we got. This is my beautiful boards book. I now have two of them. I love this book so much. If nothing else, it makes a great decor piece in my kitchen. Okay, that, that's done. I can just say, oh wow, Fourth of July and we skip right to a pumpkin board. Okay, hold on, let's see here. Santa. Fourth of July is a little off, so I'm going to, maybe a breakfast board. Is that pretty to look at? Will that inspire me every morning? A parfait board. Ooh, a bit. Okay, this is the winner. This, what's all that crap behind there? And we'll just cover it up, just like so. The glare is crazy, but isn't that just nice to look at on my countertop? I mean, I think so. Okay, I don't really care. So here is the finished energy ball recipe. And you can roll it into balls. You might want to chill it for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so before you roll it into balls. And don't ask me how long the balls will keep because they never stay longer than a couple of days in our house. And if you need to take a peek on the recipe, here it is for your viewing pleasure. I'll do a little cleaning before shot for you. I'm gonna throw all this stuff where it belongs. And there she is, all nice and tidy and beautiful. So is the rest of my kitchen. Don't look in the sink though. Hey, do you wanna like work out with me for 10 minutes or something because I have about 15 minutes before the kids get home, so grab your weights. If you don't have weights, maybe grab some canned soup, a shampoo bottle, whatever you have, or go weightless. Just move. And if you don't feel like it, I don't know, do it later, okay? I'm doing arms today and I'm actually working out to someone new. Uh, I don't know how I feel about her after 30 seconds of watching her, so. <laughs> we'll see. It's hard making new friends, you know? All right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, shoot! She's punching with weights. Okay, oh, this hurts. Oh, the limbs in my body. I don't like it. 10 minute arms workout. So grab medium weights and light grab weights. Grab medium weights. I can't cheat on Sydney, man. She's the best. Let's go. Girl and press, let's do it. 
just kick it. I only have 10 pound weights. weights. Maybe I will increase right, my weight selection. Two, one, maybe. Let's go. Probably not. Don't worry about those Easter baskets behind me. Life is messy and that's okay. Can you guys see my muscles in this lighting? Nine. No? Okay. Overhead extension. The other day, I was three, at the park and I two, climbed a rope. One, it was amazing. I shared it on my Instagram. Extension. I was really proud of myself. You want to incorporate some abs? You just lift a leg and I think it will help strengthen your core to keep your balance. You know, when you're doing these 10 minute workouts, you have to get in as much of your body as you can. I know. Pick up the dice. Somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when you're naked and broken, nowhere to go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? Does somebody, somebody, somebody know of a place where the green isn't covered by snow? Every time that your eyes speak, it's time to let go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? stronger my friend thanks for working out with me working up a sweat hoping for some camera died still sweaty feeling good proud of you what's next laundry I think exciting and then uh, dinner which I still have no idea what we're making but we'll get there one step at a time <sighs> smell it smell the candle do you like it you like the animals Ooh, you see the sheep? Bah! Yeah, good. Giraffe. That's a giraffe. Doop, doop. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Ooh, a bunny. Goes hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Good girl. Lion said, Rawr! Look at these magnets. She loves them. It's like a new toy. Didn't have to spend any money on them. I've had these since Avelina was little. What's that? <gasps> a tiger. <laughs> so I landed on a recipe. Finally, it's dinner time. I Well, not that you have any idea what that is. I'm going to make the Paula Deen pasta and chicken dish. I just seasoned my chicken thighs with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I thought this would be a great addition. I was actually looking for Italian seasoning, but let me show you my spice cabinet and maybe you'll understand why I couldn't find it. <laughs> Great. I heated up some avocado oil. Woohoo! I'm gonna get it nice and seared on the outside. Give it all that flavor. I can only do two at a time. Oh, here's the trick. <laughs> He's on the other side while it's flipped down. Skin down for, there's no skin on this, but I don't know. I like that side down first. I have misplaced my tongs, so I'm using a fork. Oh, look at all of that color. My gosh, that sizzle is loud. It's a little unnecessary, if you ask me. Whew, 
done with the chicken. That was an experience, a loud experience. I'm gonna start on the sauce, three tablespoons of butter. Here's the chicken, by the way. Doesn't it look delicious? I'm gonna add five or six cloves of garlic in there. I don't know, I didn't count. Let that cook a little bit. Ah, crap, the onion. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this off and chop up an onion. Okay, I'm adding half of a huge onion. And uh, I think I overcooked my pasta just a smidge. Life goes on, right? I definitely regret not adding the other half of the onion. I'm just going to add two tablespoons of flour just to make a roux, it thickens up our sauce. Let that cook out for, I don't know, 15 seconds. Then add half a cup of sour cream. I did find some in my fridge, which is nice. Is that half a cup? Sure. Looking good so far. One cup of milk. I have rice milk, but use whatever you have. That's nice and thick. And then you add two and a half cups of cheese and then half on top. I have this really gourmet Parmesan cheese too. I'm just gonna add right in there. Fresh Parmesan from the... It's a little thick. I'm gonna add some more milk, but it's looking really creamy and dreamy. Are you ready for this stretch? <laughs> yeah. All right, this might be too creamy and dreamy. I put the pasta over the chicken. Just, the chicken is dreamy. I don't know if this is too thick. I don't know, should I thin it out? All right, and then I'm just gonna dump it all over the pasta. I mixed it and topped it with cheese and I'm gonna throw it in the oven 411 degrees for, I don't know, about 15 minutes. This is one of those times when having cookie dough in the freezer comes in handy. I'm just leaving it out at room temperature uh, so they're not frozen, I'm gonna throw them in the oven. Uh, so I totally think I forgot to get a video clip of it finished. Uh, it was delicious. And here are the remnants of the cookies. I made two batches. Delicious. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. Maybe it gave you a little bit of motivation to declutter or work out. If nothing else, I hope I just was a good friend to hang out with. But don't forget to check out Thrive Market. The link will be below, thrivemarket.com slash the wads if you want 25% off your first order and a free gift. But thank you guys so much again for watching. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.